Hi guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, Jenny. Can anyone hear me? Welcome to the webinar today. All right. Nice to see you again, Richard. How are you doing? I think last time I um, see you, <laughs> EFG. Yeah, actually, this is another room for the webinar. Yeah. And actually, this room is smaller than the usual one, and this is very, really cool. That's why, you know, I'm wearing the, like, the winter sweater. <laughs> you, you guys can see. <laughs> yeah, okay, we just wait for um, the people to tune in, all right? And then we will start um, the webinar soon, okay? So I think today we do have the major news um, in the afternoon, my time soon, okay? We do have EU and GBP. That's why if you look at the... Um, EUD USD is falling, but I think now it's um rebounds already. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just wait for one more minute. Okay, I will start soon. Um no. How are you guys doing so far? Do you guys um, use any Fibonacci that I have taught you guys? Um, yeah, I think for the Fibo, I tried to um, look at the YouTube, but I could not as well so I don't think they upload the video actually I asked um, Desmond to check like with the uh, tech new team whether they're going to upload or not but they won't get back to me yeah because like um, the previous um, webinar you guys told me right and then I go and check on YouTube yeah they did not upload on the YouTube I don't know why yep. Okay, so let's just start our webinar now, right now, okay? So I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Hi everyone, again, welcome to the live trading section today. My name is Peggy, but before I jump onto the um, live trading uh, analysis, right? Disclaimer first, um, this webinar is just for purely education educational only, okay? So if you guys want to trade, please do your own due diligence, all right? Because as you guys already know, um, trade CFD uh, or for a really high risk, high return because we do have the leverage, okay? So about myself, you guys may or may not know, okay, my name is Peggy. Actually, I'm a six prop firm qualified, okay? This is four I have, I have another two, but I didn't add in, okay? I do a prop trader, uh, prop trading as well. And then now I'm work with EFG. You guys really know, we are finalists for the best big research in 2019, 20, and 21. And finalists for the best equity research in 2020 and 21 as well. I'm not sure whether you guys um know or not about the prop firm. If you guys don't know, you may just Google. Okay, you will learn something from there. Okay, these are some of the so that have parts. Another two. Um, that's good. Funders account too. Okay, that's nice to hear. Okay, you are like me. I'm a <laughs> I'm a funder account hunter. You know, there's so many problems out there. You guys can check it out. All right. 
Okay, let's just um, start our um, webinar for today. Okay, let's just look. Um, you guys can let me know if you have any like specific pairs you want me to have a look, all right? I will check for you guys. So let's just look at our DXY first. Okay, um, this is my, I haven't, um, GU, okay. GU just now is sale, right? Because of the news. Let me find, um, actually this supposed to be my first resistance like this morning in daily time frame, and then it's big above already. So I put at my uh, first support, okay. If you if you were to use um, Fibonacci, okay. And you got any, I do use EMA as well, okay. But now I'm not using, so I just hide it. You would, you can draw Fibo from here to here, and you can see that this is like, 61.8%, so I put this at my third resistance. But here you may see, why it's so small. This is like, wait, first resistance here. Okay, actually I put this, not like really first resistance, but I put the dot meaning intermediate um, resistance. Like I have to watch out for this um, level because this is have a lot of weak here. And then in the past, you to be our support, right? And then break above, become resistant. And then they have 38.2%, which is not 50% um, yet. So I just put at 38.2%. Uh, Okay, like it come until here and then it bow up. So I put this at like in my intermediate support. Let's say if we can break above this, this is my first resistance in the lead time frame, uh, the XY. But we just zoom into um, hit four, it's really bow off here. Okay, if you were to look at the um, the XY in hit four, actually this is somewhere here. Okay, I will put my intermediate here because now we in head four. And then if you were to look at the um here, we do have like supply zone. Okay, some of you may um trade demand and supply. If you were to see like that, okay, you may sell from here. But to me, if I were to sell from here, I'm kind of like really careful because we only have do have um supply zone and this is just like the week here so priority the um react of of this um intermediate support okay oh sorry intermediate resistance okay let's just look at eu before i go to the um rice gbp okay Okay, G U E U U J. Mm. Okay, I already buy at E U I U S D. Okay, let's look at our um this is my um overlap support. Okay, this is my first support here. And then actually we do have like actually you want to use Fibo like this. Okay. It's nothing here, so I don't really put any like fifth level here. But the reason I put this level because you to be resistant. So I highlight the body to the weak. And then when you see that price tap in this zone and then got like, you know, rejected there, delete. Okay, now look at um, head four. Okay, in head four, this doesn't have demand zone, right? If some of you guys um trade demand and supply, like here, but you don't really see, but I already buy, and my lady boo, okay? You know where is my TP? Here. <laughs> Here's my TP, it's a small, small one here. This I just mark for my own cell, okay? I buy here, I already buy. 
Okay, but I, uh, to be honest, I SL um, DU before the new, after the new, you know. <laughs> so now I don't trade a DU for now, but it's bounced off already. Um, this is my first um, support. If you were to have like buy position like me, okay. I use FIBO for my TP, okay. So you see my TP, I always put before 23.6% because like if you want to trade like with Fibonacci, you need to break this before you can like move up. And then from here, have a week here. So my TP just before 23.6%, uh, that's my TP one. And again, we do have the um, like the new just now, right? And you guys know this, why right? falling? EU view bullish, okay? Where is my second support? Okay, actually, I will put this in my second support. Okay. This could be my second. Um, Okay, just bear with me, I will look for you guys, okay. Yeah, okay, I shoot this as my second resistance. This could be first support, uh, sorry, first resistance here, which is, send this out, 50%. Okay, so you can just leave like that, right? So you see, you want to see like that it's really clear if you draw some point resistance correctly. Actually, this is let me look further down here. Okay. I don't really like this movement, but I think I'll choose this as my first um um which is if you were to use the people okay this is 61.8 percent so you can just leave this something like this 61.8 percent but to be honest like i draw people actually you cannot really like draw this um feeble yet because this candle haven't ended it could be ending with the red candle um te technically you cannot draw i just kind of like assume that okay prime you like go up here and then it can um draw from here but by right you cannot draw fibo like that okay okay this is my view okay it's either hit my tp or uh, hit break even for my uh d trade but GU, okay, let's just look for the GU. Somebody asking me for the GU, okay. So GU, if you were to look at this one, it's already at um, here, overlap support. Okay, I have stopped. I, um, I'm quite disappointed with this trade because I put the stop loss longly because it hits my stop loss and then it's revert. Okay, so here is your first support in your daily time frame. Okay, have you were to draw people exactly like 61.8 percent? You see, okay. Now, do you have any position? Uh, Jamilu, okay. If I pronounce your name incorrect, I'm sorry. Okay, this is the one in head four. If you were to pull out the uh, okay. You can see that this is a oh, green color is my EMA 100. Uh, okay, you guys can see, okay. Blue is my EMA 200. So you can see that this like EMA 100 also acting as the resistant uh, level. Okay. So now, What this? Oh, okay. 
like I think like it died there. I thought they probably could. Like this morning, I thought like they make a. Uh... Okay, I saw like this could be bare leaf divergent. Okay, but because you can see like the price makes um higher low, higher low, right? Higher low, lower high. You can make um lower high and higher high. I mean, collect not yeah. Somehow it be confused. Okay. Then I thought, okay, this could be my entry. You, you, okay, if I were you, I already buy from this level. Yeah, okay. That's why I just I get stop out. So when I get stop out this pair, I'm not going to re-enter again, even though I saw that, okay, it's at my first support in my daily time frame, like that, right? Okay, you can see that. Do you have any position for this? Pair, okay. We we as overlap support be sixty one point eight percent. I think that's good enough if you want to buy from here. But if you were to ask me, let me just go to the lower time frame. If we see any price action, no, we don't need now. It's already red. Okay. I think you just have to hold, okay? You don't look at the lower time frame because now we add overlap support in daily time frame. This is the, um, I think potential if daily bounce off from here, you just use FIBO to find your TP1. Definitely first you need to choose 23.6% as your TP1, which is this one in head four, which is, Somewhere here, okay, somewhere here. If you were to, to buy your T1, your TP1 to be at 23.6%, which is 1.2897, okay. Okay, here. Let's say if price, Break below my first support. This is my second support, okay? Which, okay, we just, um, let we just, see this candle okay if you guys want to wait for confirmation you wait for this um 30 minute candle cloth with green color good to buy okay because you want to buy from here green green this one have like red already so if you want to get uh, another confirmation you wait for this candle to end to close with the green color and then you can buy okay yeah Okay, for the EU, you see it's bounced off already. I have a position like I say buy, right? Now it's reverse off already. Okay, I still hold anyway, because my loss size is not that big. It's quite small for this uh, pair. Okay, so this my support resistance, GU, UJ, okay. UJ sell, okay, sell, you need sell, um, um um uj because i did a sale i have sale position because this is like we have a double i delete first okay like this to be last um analysis like okay this is be in daily time frame okay and this one price is already at um like somewhere here almost reaching my third resistance, which is somewhere 61, 
0.8 percent um yeah here exact sigma 1.8 percent if you will draw from here to here if you will draw it correctly and then um if you look at um m1 just now i don't know is this that's new is from here to here i got tp my small cow got tp somewhere around here because I do sell from up here in M1. I don't know what happened. Like, is, is there news? But yeah. But now I still have, I hold my sale position. Still, um, blue. Okay. You see, okay, the reason if you ask me, okay, why you put your full resistance here and then you sell, you say you, you have a sale um, position already because I look here, like I draw from here to here. Price is sideways, okay. Like you guys already know when there is a like really a big move, right? Definitely for a uh, price will sideways for a while before it's either like continue or like falling. So to me, I use um ISI um to look like. You actually haven't used right. I will bring you to the lower time frame, the reason why I sell. Okay, I look, you see price is like on the sideway, okay. And then I saw this. Uh, I see this. Just give me a while. I find um, why I have a sale order. Okay. Here. I think I even go to the lower time to make a look. No, I see my order. Oh, I have a sale. Um, Order because one, I look at the X, Y, okay. Because you can't really know they are a positive correlation, right? I look at the X, Y and I saw that the DX, Y, but just now I have a floating loss, okay, for the UJ. Actually already um profit and then after that floating loss again, but it haven't hit my SL, so I just fall. And then I check at the DX, Y, I look at this level. So actually, if break at this level, I have to cut loss for the UJ. But actually, this Y is at intermediate um resistance. So I go back to look at my UJ. UJ, like I say, I sell, okay, because of this candle. Okay, at this candle. And then this is another confirmation for me, for myself, because I saw that, okay, this is like, some of you, you may say, okay, this is not, um, very engulfing kind of, but to me, I, I feel, okay, this is the um, like confirmation for, for me to, to pay the sale. And second is also ending with the red candle. And the third one, price is still in sideways. Okay, you can see sideways here. So if you ask where my sale is just above this week, above this, not even go above like full resistance because that is too far for me because for this one, my loss is quite big. Okay, so it is my stop loss here. I'm okay. I will place another trade here if price come to this um um hit my resistance right. But it did not. So my SL just above this week or above the week um the box here. Okay, so now I still hold my trade. Okay, let's just see our. Support and resistance. Okay, definitely gonna be our second resistance, right? Because this is our you can say that is I could not break above this resistance. So you can say either multi, multi swing high. Okay, your TP definitely the TP around here. But where is my TP? 
I think I delete already. Okay, my TP. Okay, I got say right. So my TP is at um. Okay. My TP is around this one. Okay. Just make it very, very small. Okay, this is my TP is here. Okay, so again, because this is gonna buy my gonna be my first support. Okay. Here you may highlight the week, like you can highlight the zone here. Okay, let me pull out my MA. Okay, you see, sometimes you can see that price react at EMA 100, right? And could not go through and then shoot up here. Um, let's say why is make this high. Okay, and this is my swing low. My FIB could be 23.6%, which is my first TP. Okay, you see? My TP is here, just below 23.6%. Okay, so this is my first support. Okay. Where you... Where do you think my second support is? This is my second support here. You can just click this. You see? If you were to draw correctly, right? This one, you're gonna get entry here because this is your high, okay? This is already your pullback support, right? This is my second support here, okay? Oh, okay. And we are in um daily time frame, but let me let me zoom to head four. I'm sorry, I thought I'm in daily. Okay, so this is my in head four time frame. So this is gonna be my second support. Okay. This is my second support. If you want to trade like last week, is this last week? Last week 18. Like or two weeks ago, 18. Uh, last week, you know, right? You're gonna get this order because it's a next slide for double uh bottom, right? This this one. Okay, and then you can see the price break and then come back and retreat and then boom, all the way up. Okay, and actually this on you to be my first resistance and break above become my first um support. So now I'm waiting for the price to really come to my um, TP. And you can back to the EU, you see EU already come down. Okay, either you guys buy like myself, you just have your stop loss, okay? Or either price could come back to our second support, okay? I still hold my trade, like I say, my loss size is not that big, okay? So you can see, watch out at this level, okay? Um, okay, let's see. And you can see like last week, three francs have like double bottom. We do have the um, divergent as well. Okay, now it's worked out really nicely last week. Okay. Let we look at daily time frame first, okay? First, definitely you need to find where is your support and where is your resistance, right? Definitely daily time frame, this gonna be your first resistance in daily time frame, okay? Then we look at the, okay. We use FIP to help us find the level.
Okay, if you don't, okay, let's see. If you don't see any um, level right design, you don't need to force um, like yourself to use um, FIBO level. Let's say, oh, this is the one, or you this one, or you this one. No, you don't need because we don't use if you don't find anything. Okay, what you can do here in H4, this is your, you can use this at your first support, which is together you would draw FIBO. You can see that exactly 50%. Okay, you see? Okay, I will tell you why I consider this level. I will I'm gonna buy from here because we do have hidden base or demand zone. Okay, here you can see. I will draw as my candle here, but I will draw my zone like that. Okay. And then this is my second support. Okay, I just draw at this uh, candle. Like I say, drawing support resistance. Either you want to draw at the body is at or at the wick is very subjective. It depends on your left whether the price, what the price react in the past. So here I just draw. Or if you want to stretch here, you can see that the body. This pie could not go below. Okay, you can just draw like that at your first and your second um, support here. Oh, my my UJ is doing good though. Okay, let me zoom in to see. Ah, you see, this is we call base or demand zone. Okay, so you may consider, okay, but I will. Okay, you, you consider, okay. I don't say whether I want to buy or sell, but I, I already say <laughs> you, you may consider this zone, okay, like the green box here. Like the box here. This one. We do have demand zone, we do have 50%. Because if you guys trade demand on supply, right? Like I say, I don't really trade demand and supply like alone. I need to have like uh other confirmation, like either the FIP. FIBO or either, you know, support resistance, but this is a good one. So you may consider, okay, here. I will wait here as well if the price come down here. Okay. Ah, let me pull out my EMA in head four. Ah, where is, where's my EMA? It's all the verb, so it's not work, so we don't use it. Okay, so now do you think it's going to create double top like here? Do you think it's going to create a double top here? Like in pattern, that's possible. Okay, we just, we just like see it might have potential to create double, like double top. This is like Another play action. This is like hammer. No choosing, uh, shooting star for this one, right? I came down. Let's say if I can come down here, okay, for us to buy. And then if you were to like your TP, your cool TP could be at the next line here. Okay, we still have to um look because it's really haven't really formed like the end pattern, but it look like look like, okay, it look like, but we don't know yet, okay? Just like, it just look like that for now, we're gonna see how it's gonna work out. Okay, I know you guys might want to look for gold. Oh, gold. Okay. My goal, daily time frame. You see, it hit our 50%, okay? This is, this is definitely, it's my very, very strong key level for um daily time frame. That's why, you know, price could not go above this and then come down. You can see this very, really nice overlap resistance if you were to look at daily time frame. Okay, you see, I'm coming down. Okay, let's look at our um, 
head four. Okay, you want to look at head four here. You know, this is quite a bit messy, right? Because we draw from a uh, daily time frame. You may just adjust here. Okay, and then you may just highlight the zone. When you trade, right, you if you see a lot of rejection um, like this, meaning this zone, there might be something. That's why price could not um, go above. Okay, you will just keep like that. Okay, and then you see from here, 1985, it just go about above, let's just say 200 point, and then all the way, boom, come down. Okay, so now in head four, Where is my um, support level? Actually, my support level should be somewhere here, you know. But I just don't like this candle, and then now it should up already. So I just put this in my first support, which is in H4. You see? If you were here in H1, price could not break below my EMA 200. Okay, and now it's my already sideway. If you were to look at um, uh, EMA, okay, clause is on uptrend, and then now go up, but it go up until where? It could be if you to because we look at daily time frame, right? This is my first resistance, head four. Okay, if you were to look at head four, I use people here. If you buy, okay, your TP, first TP could be at this 1967 or 1965 if you were to buy from below. Because prior already break, break above 20.6%. Now, let's say price can break 38.2% or not, right? So you just show like this, okay, this is your TP1. Okay, now this is your TP1, okay. Which is here. You can just put at your first resistance. We do have this a week in the past, okay. And then this one should be I just use 30, 38.2%. This is my first resistance in daily time frame. This is my second resistance in H4, which is first resistance in H1. Okay. And where is my second support? Too far. I will use this. Okay, this is my second support. We do have two hundred EMA. Okay, and this is our like recent swing low for this. This is my second support. I will just put like this, which is the, the, I draw people from here to here. Okay, you can see here, we do have like 50%, right? So if you see like that, you can just highlight this zone, okay? Uh, this is your second um, support, okay? Okay, I don't use this level, so I just put the two, uh, okay, just put 50%, okay. You don't get confused, this one is from this low, okay. This one is from this low to this high, same high.
No, cannot use. Do you guys uh, scalp gold or what? So if you were to trade like in a lower time frame, okay, let's say you can see that this is already preview. You see this is overlap resistant in um, um, M15, okay. If you would, let's say if we see like that, will you ask me I will sell? No, I don't sell. Because it touching, this is going to be my second time, but this is very nice, um, all like overlap um, resistant. But I'm not going to say, if you, if you guys, I, I'm not sure already I teach you guys about uh, my scalping strategy for using M800 or 200. If I see like that, if I were to sell, I will sell when it touch for the first time, which is this candle, this second candle. I'm not going to sell here because potential is my can break above like um like this this level okay you were to sell from here i will get how many pip 166 165 not 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 so many pip though so it's not but if you want to trade you have to be careful you still can sell because it not break above here like say if you were to sell here where your stop lot <clears throat> your stop loss is just above the recent week, okay? But I but I did not sell because <clears throat> I already have another position. So today I haven't trade gold yet, okay? So for gold, we just wait either. Oh, don't get confused, guys. Hit four. Here. First resistance. Where is my first resistance? Okay, we do have. Um, okay, here I highlight like this. You consider is your sale area here. Okay, here. Okay, when the price go to this zone, you may consider to sell. Here, okay, like this one, which is one. 972. Okay, I'll just put for you guys. And then you may consider, okay, here. Okay, here. UJ, my UJ is doing very, very well. Okay. Yep. It's doing very good for my, my UJ here. Anyone have the position for the, okay. Sorry, I did not see the question. Um, There is a question say, but you can use live chat for drawing support resistance. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I did the question first, how do you, how do you properly use FIBO level? Okay, how do you properly use FIBO Nanchi level? Okay, easy. If you want, sorry, not easy. Like if you were to draw, if you were to draw support resistance in H4, you just use FIBO level, which is line up with your support or resistance like this. Okay, you see when I draw, the zone or the level or support resistance very correctly, let's say. You can see that when you draw um, FIBO, you can see that, okay, did you see? Your first resistance light up with 61.8%, and this is your uh, pullback resistance. So that means we wait for the price to come around this we sell, okay? And second, when you when you see that price already made the the high and then this is the low okay you will draw always draw your left to your right okay and then this is your first um support okay you see any fibo level and then you can see that it's had the 30 percent so you use this level and have 61.8 percent so you only show only this um 
Hmm? Where is my 23 and 61? No. Ah, you just draw like that. You see, right? So I know that there is so many um, level for you to see, but if you were to look like every um, level like this, you say, oh, 50 also can, this 38.2% also the fifth level, but that is just only fifth level level only. There is no nothing for you to, to, uh, to confirm or to trade, because if you want to trade, at least they might have two to three confirmation for you to buy or sell. So the reason I want to buy here, for example, because this is very nice, my overlap so pullback support, we have 23.6%, okay, fit level. If I buy from here, for example, if price really break below this, of course we hit my SL, okay, hit my SL, so where is my next um, entry? It's either I wait until 61.8% or I will may keep an eye on 50% to see when price reaching this level, is there any price action or any uh, chart pattern in the lower time frame? Lower time frame, which means M15 or M30, either they form any like, you know, double bottom, or you can see any like um, long week like that, it's like price action, and then you may consider to buy. Okay, so in this case, I only use these two, 23 and 26%. And you can see my UJ is doing very good today, okay? <laughs> All right, and okay, yes, you can use the, um, the, the line chart to identify. This is just help you to identify support and resistance, but in the line charts, they only capture um, your body only, it's not a week. Okay, if you guys, like I say, if you guys don't know how to identify, you can just uh, switch to the light chart, easy for you guys, which is capital A, your resistance, capital V is your support. Okay, easy for you guys, right? If you want to see like that, you say, oh, this is also can, this is also can. To me, I switch to the candle. If I were to draw, I will draw my here, okay? But I view, keep an eye on this week because this is just kind of like stop hunt. And then you see the body here, pride could not go through this level and then it bounced off from here, okay? Sometimes you just read the candle and then you may see um, the, 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 what is this? You see my, definitely I think my UJ gonna hit my TP, right? Where is my TP? I also don't know where I draw my TP here. But it's, you see, okay, it's break. It's already break the, the side way, okay, in the box is coming down. Where is my TP? Um, I don't know where I put my TP guys. One four seven. Oh, here it did this did one four zero seven eighty one. Okay, it's still far. Okay, but it's coming down. So you may consider to buy here. Okay, buy here. I think this why it's falling. Yeah. Okay. Um. How do you get a webinar explaining? How do you sweep off this? Um, the webinar, I think you, you um, I do teach the feedback already, but I don't know why they don't upload on the YouTube channel. You may ask the support because I asked, I get um, Desmond to check with Digmail, but he won't get back to me, okay? What do you mean by add overlap? Okay, overlap is actually it depends on a term that you got you guys using. For example, um, okay, let me look at this. Um, okay, 
Okay, here, okay, first resistance. Okay, this is due to be my, this is due to be my support, right? Now price break above, so this is my pullback resistance, meaning we wait for the price to pull back. Okay, after pull back, it become overlap, which is, I want to find um, the, the correct or like very nice. Okay, for example, maybe this one. Okay, you can. The level is maybe not very nice. Um, okay, here, for example, here. For example, like here. Okay, like here. Wait. Here, for example, here, right? I don't know why I cannot cut. Anyway, so this one. I cannot do <sighs> why is here why why is the label here okay for example maybe I go to lower time frame for you guys to see eh. ah. okay for example here easy for you to see Okay, this is my daily. Okay, as you know that this is my resistance, price break above. So this is our support level, right? So this is, I'm waiting for the price to pull back to my support. So this one I will call pull back support. You wait for price to pull back and then you buy from here. Okay, another one after the price pull back already, it become your overlap support or it could say like support become resistant or resistant become support. It's either uh, how you gonna name it or other people will say like a uh, flip zone. Okay, it's up to you. I place the order in MT5. I'm not placed the order in uh, trading view because trading view for me just do TA only. Okay. Wow, my my UJ falling. Lily falling guy. I'm so happy. But I do hit my my stop loss, right? I already win back like I hit the GU uh, in the afternoon. Okay. So any question? Let me see. Any pair you guys want me to have a look? DJ, you guys trade any GBP, JPY? Ah, uh, the chain of resistance. Yeah, actually overlap is resistant become support or support become resistant. Some people say RBS or SBR. Like, you know, it depends. Like RBS, right? Resistant become support or support become resistant, either one. Or some people call zone. Over here, we say overlap, overlap support or overlap resistant. Overlap resistant. Or overlap support. So actually, this term meaning the same. Okay, so it's up to you. You guys prefer RBS, SBR, flip zone, overlap support, overlap resistance. Actually, it's the same meaning. Okay, it just said, oh, yeah, we, we, we say overlap support, meaning that price might touch like price. Like that, like that. 
like that. Okay, so this is my. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this one might have the. Uh, Good. If like this, this is my, we wait for the price to come first. When price like that, right, you draw. Okay, when the price touch, you, you say that, oh, this is your uh, pullback support, meaning you wait for the price to pull back. When price pull back, okay, this is become your overlap resistance because, because this is due to be your, um support right this is your support right and then pry break pry break like that okay you say that okay this you are first support you wait for pry to pull back to your first support after pull back you sell this is your become your overlap the same meaning okay this is your overlap support okay so far any question guys so the term or how you're gonna call is up to you actually similar here rbs i think uh, rbs sbr a lot of singaporean are not singaporean malaysian they like to use this flip zone i heard somebody say as well overlap so what overlap is resistant a lot of people also say as well okay <laughs> Yeah, actually it's the same meaning. Yeah, just depend what people want to call the term of support and resistance, right? Okay, any questions so far, guys? Before I end the webinar, any pair you want me to have a look? Okay, let me look last one, which is EU. You see EU? I still hold the trade. Okay, either hit my TP or hit my um, break even. Um, UJ, just now one guy asked me, you see falling already. Oops, it's doing good. Okay, it's doing good. Okay, hit my SPX. What is that? <laughs> what is that SPX? It's um, this one. Oh, okay, okay. Um, SP 500. Mm. Which one should I use? It is this one, right? No. Uh -oh. What is this? Is, is this this one? Vintage? Okay. I don't know whether the five. Five feet is correct or not? You 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 can uh, help me look. I don't have the uh, the first one. Okay, this correct one, right? Okay. Okay, my last pair. Wow. Okay, now I have to look at the daily um time frame. Okay, uh, weekly already. So in the weekly. Should be already 78.6 percent. Any pair you entry on <laughs> in five not in. Okay, now you see it's at 61.8 percent. So I consider this my first resistance in the weekly. Okay, we need to see. I see I want to break a bird, but anyway, I think potential that price. You, why you make an entry? Any pair, why you make entry on M15, not M1? M1 to me, I only do entry on M1 on my strategy and go, but the M1 is really nothing but you can see there. Okay. Like, if, but if you were to trade like um, SMC, they like to go to M1 or M, um, um, M5. To me, LMC is not my style because you know the the win rate is not there a lot, but it's just that 
they claim that the RR like one to 10, one to 15 or kind of thing. So yeah, so HMC, I'm not trained on HMC. I just, um, either I see those like a break of structure, chain of character, that's all. Okay. Um, okay, let me see. Okay, this is your first resistance. You see, you have to draw from here. The, even though you have like, like that, you may not like it, but price could not go above this resistance. Okay. Let me go to head four. Okay. I think in head four, um, price is go up, go down. I haven't closed my trade. Um, you want to see, is there a divergent? Yeah, okay. If you want to see from here, nothing much yet. Okay, let me see. In head four, I use my FIP to help me to get the level, which is I already see, okay. I don't know whether you have a position. This is a good level, okay. For support, which is, let me find the level first. My first support here, we do have 23.6%, but where is my second support? I think my second support is somewhere here, which is we do have um, 50. So we just put 23 and Okay. You may highlight the big, the zone like this, okay? Like here, you can see, you will zoom in to see, right? If you want to capture like this week, price tap in, go up, price tap in, and then go up. It seemed like this one, they could not break, so, You wait, then this, I consider this my second support. If you guys can wait, right? This is work waiting, this zone, okay? You may highlight like this. This is your um, green, sorry, this your had to be green, okay? I don't use this level because there's no level here. So what is this level? You see? Okay, let me just see what is this level. Okay, it's which is it's here. Any fib? No, so we don't consider this, okay? Nothing. It may too far, but price still kind of ranging between like first, you consider first resistance and first support here. If you were to, if you can wait, this is a work waiting which is at second support, okay? Because if you were to look at daily time frame, okay, your daily time frame price is at this level. Yeah, okay. This one is me. This one have a surprise zone, but I don't like the big is touches the, the um like the first, like here, like you see, you were to trade, right? I, I don't like something like this. Okay, you just wait here or you will sell here. Let's say we just, kind of forecast, yeah. If either like this, oh, gonna like, like this, 
possible. Okay, you just have to, let's say it probably go up to like first resistance again. Okay, you wait at this area, you don't like instantly place the sale order or click the order. You need either here, you go to either 15 or M30. If you see like any kind of price action, like a lot of rejection like this, like this zone, you may highlight something like this zone. Okay. You try tap to this zone, and then there is a lot of um, rejection. You may consider to sell your SL just above this week or this recent uh, bird resistance. Okay, you want to if you want to scout. Okay, if really sell here, you see a lot of to sell, meaning that in head four, price is going to create like double top. Okay, like double top, like like I say just now. Okay, you just um like this, either like this, like this, or like this, okay? Either you, you wait here, and then you wait for the confirmation. Very easy, rejection, choosing star. Uh, any like, um, uh, a lot of rejection on this zone, like this, right? Okay, then you sell, okay? All right, guys. Um, any, Confirmation, so, uh, any questions so far? Okay, before I end, I just run the poll. I hope like you guys can vote for me. Okay, whether you like this webinar or not, appreciate that as well. Okay, like my style is really um, easy guy because I used to be a scalper. I'm trained like M1, M5 in on go. But then after that, I think that it's not really suit my a style anymore. So I change to H4 and then H1. But then I wait for the confirmation is either in M15 or M5. Either M15 or M30, but M5, I just want to see, you know, whether price is um, um like you know, react any anything like a lot of rejection on that level. For example, like if I were to wait to sell at the resistance, right? And then I saw that a lot of right. Uh, rejection in the lower time frame, and then I may consider to sell or to buy, and then my stop loss is really tight. Okay, <laughs> I'll teach you the scalping. <laughs> my scalping, okay, my scalping in M one or M five. You need to look at your if you if you're full time trader, that is my um uh, suitable for you. But if you like me now working a full time, and then I'm do a trade, so I prefer to. Um, M1 or M5, okay? Or uh, to, sorry, H4 or H1. Still need to understand how to use the FIBO well. The FIBO nunchi, um, like I say, um, you can Google, okay? But to be honest, if you know how to use FIBO nunchi correctly, okay? You can master the FIBO nunchi, and then after that, either you want to study those like Iliad wave or uh, harmonic pattern. Actually, it comes from the uh, FIBO nunchi, yeah. Okay, like if you guys notice right now, I'm, I'm doing the like uh, harmonic. So my feet, my feet here, if you want to see from here, I have like, you see, <laughs> you, you can see all here. Even though I'm trading guys, I still uh, study. Okay, any, like any strategy I want to learn, I just still kind of like learning every day. Okay, any place to learn scalping? Um, let me talk with Desmond. If you guys want to do like scalping my strategies, I'm not sure whether I teach you guys before on scalping on goal. Uh, if not, I think I can teach you guys in the next webinar. Okay, you just watch out for the uh, like uh, webinar schedule. Okay. Yes, correct. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for your time today. Okay, um, appreciate that and. I, mm, where is my pink screen? Uh, no, I take a picture of the poll. Okay. I hope to see you guys again, maybe the next webinar. All right. Hope you guys also learning something today. Nice to see a lot of you guys, like really familiar name. Okay. Some I never seen before. I appreciate that you guys join like me today as well. Okay. Um, 
let me do the uh what is this i want to like snip something New one. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank for your time today. See you guys again next webinar. Have a good day. Okay. Happy trading. Bye for now, guys. Take care.